Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to seven questions with Emmy. Today I'm here with Bruce Cush. He is the 13th president of Enzyme College, formerly known as the LDS Business College. He's a former professor at BYU Idaho, and he and his wife Alinda have four kids and 15 grandkids. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Oh, it's a pleasure, Emmy. Should we get started with the question? You bet. Let's go. Okay. Can you tell us what Enzyme College is and how many students go there? Yeah, you bet. So, like you mentioned when you introduced me, um, our name used to be LDS Business College, and it was LDS Business College for a long, long time. And we found that when we were talking to people and they heard business college, they thought all we taught was were business courses and things like that. And the college does a whole lot more than just business. We have programs in medical assisting, we have programs in interior design, social media, uh, software development, and things like that. And so uh, almost three years ago, there was an announcement made about some really big changes for the college. And one of them was that our name was going to change from LDS Business College to Ensign College. And that happened on September 1st of 2020. And the other things that were announced was that we would begin offering some bachelor's degrees. And so we have uh, about eight different bachelor's degrees in, in some business things, in accounting, in cybersecurity, and system administration, and digital marketing, and social media marketing, and things like that. And then the third thing that was announced was that uh, through a relationship with BYU Pathway Worldwide, we would start offering online courses to students around the world. So we have about 1,700 students that come to our campus in downtown Salt Lake City every semester. And then we have about 5,000 or so online students that we serve. So we, we have almost 7,000 students. What is the best thing about being the president of a college? Uh, that's, a, that's a great question. There's a couple of things that are, uh, are the best. The thing that I love the most is the students. That's the best part, is the students who come. And uh, one of the great things about Ensign College is our classes are small. So our students get to know their teachers very well, and teachers get to know their students. And a lot of students come, and some of them don't have a lot of confidence in their ability to learn and to succeed in college. And so, we teach in a way that's very much hands-on. Our students come and they learn by doing things. For example, in our accounting class, students come and they get a shoebox full of receipts and stuff, and they're told that they have to start finding the answers to all these accounting problems looking through a shoebox. And uh, one of the things that, that I really love is that at the end of their time, when they're ready to graduate or go on to another school, I've heard so many students say, I came to Ensign College and I learned that I could do more than I ever thought possible. And I love to hear that about our students because they discover the greatness that's within them that they didn't know that they had. So that's the first thing that I love and the most important thing. The second thing that I really love is that I have my own parking place in the parking hey. garage. <laughs> Who have been some of the coolest people you have met as president? Okay, so I was, I was, I was thinking about that and I think, Emmy, I think you're one of the coolest people I've ever met. Aw, thank you. <laughs> but, um, so one of the great things about my job is that I am in meetings several times a month with very senior leaders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And many of them also come to our devotionals, which we hold every Tuesday in the Assembly Hall on Temple Square. And so I have met, um, all of the members of the First Presidency of the Church. I've met all the members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. I have met the members of the Presidencies of the Young Men and the Young Women and the Relief Society and the Presiding Bishopric. So it's really a pleasure to get to meet um, all of those people. And there's been some other well-known people that have come and, and done devotionals like John Schmidt and some others that have come. but. Some of the coolest people that I've had the opportunity to meet are people whose names no one would ever know. And those are people who donate their money and funds 
to the college to help our students with scholarships and to help with other student projects. And these are people that have the ability to contribute financially to the school. And uh, we know their names because, because of what they do. Most people would never ever know who they are and that's the way they want it. We have a particularly tender relationship with President Dallin H. Oaks, the first counselor in the First Presidency. We have a scholarship named after his mother, Stella Harris Oaks, who at a young age became a widow. Her husband died. And so we have this scholarship that was established in her name. We work very closely with the Oaks family. Um, and these scholarships, this particular scholarship, help single parents go to college at Ensign College. And so they get a scholarship that pays for everything pays for their tuition, it pays for their books, and it's a, real, uh, it's a real blessing to be able to help them. And these people that contribute are some of the best people I've ever met. That's really cool. Yeah. Did you ever, what did you want to be when you grew up, and did you ever think that you were going to be a college president? So when I was a little boy, I loved baseball. I still love baseball. And I love to play baseball. I would play baseball. I grew up in Southern California, so the weather was good all year round. And I played baseball every minute that I possibly could. And so I wanted to grow up and be a Major League Baseball player. And I wanted to play for the Los Angeles Dodgers because then that was my favorite team. And then came the realization that eh, when I was probably like 11 or 12, that that was never going to happen. And so I, uh, as I got older, I thought about teaching. And I, uh, when I, particularly was when I was in high school, I thought I really would like to be a teacher. And I never did that for a long, long time. And then, oh, a little over 20 years ago, we left California, and I had the opportunity to be a teacher at BYU-Idaho. And that was really kind of my, my dream job. I loved my time uh, at BYU-Idaho. I loved my time in Idaho. It was just a great experience, and I really felt like I, this was what I was, was meant to do. But never ever in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that I would be a college president. <sighs> um, you, it's not anything I ever thought about. It's not anything I ever planned to do. And when you are uh, the president of a college or a university that is sponsored by the church, um, you don't apply for the job. So you're someone makes a recommendation and you're appointed by the board and in essence the first presidency. So no one was more surprised than I was when um, we got a call one day for my wife and I to meet with then President Ukdor and he extended the invitation to be the president then of Ensign or of LDS Business College and now and now at Ensign College but never anything that I ever thought would happen. I hear you have a large international student body. What countries do your students come from? We have a lot of international students, and it's one of the things that uh, we love the most about Ensign College. Uh, about 35% of the students that come to our campus in Salt Lake City are international students, and they come from about 70 countries. So we have uh, the majority or the, the largest number of students from one country are students from Brazil and then followed by Mexico. But we have students from all over Latin America, we have students from Asia, we have students from Africa. Um, and so it's a, it's, a, it's a really fun thing. You can get on one of our elevators and you can hear Korean and Mandarin Chinese and Portuguese and Spanish. and sometimes German or some other language, or English being spoken with a different accent. What is your favorite way to have an Idaho potato? Well, first of all, I love Idaho potatoes in just about any way I can get them, but my favorite way is to, uh, when they put a little, they rub the potato in a little bit of oil, and then they coat it in coarse salt, so you've got these chunks of salt all over, and then you bake the potato to perfection, and then you slice it open, and all that steam comes out. And then you load it up with butter and sour cream and cheddar cheese and bacon and some sliced um, green onions. I think that's about the best way. Can you share a piece of advice that might help me prepare to college and any viewers? 
Sure. So first of all, tell me what you think you might want to do. A be a reporter. Okay. Well, or you, a dolphin trainer. Or a doctor. A dolphin trainer. Oh, okay. Well, so I think you're you've got a really good start at being a great reporter, um, and you know your dad's a good teacher, and you've obviously done a lot of great things. Here's the thing that I some things that I think are important, and I would give you that advice, and I would give the viewers the same advice, uh, and several things. One. It's okay to explore things that you're interested in. You don't have to figure out what you're gonna be for the rest of your life when you start college. So if there's things you're interested in, give it a try. Um, also, um, college and success in college, I have found is a whole lot more about working hard than it is about bringing, being super, super smart. If you work hard, um, that's I think that's the key. Do your homework, go to class, all the things you know that you're that you're supposed to do, um, and don't be afraid to try hard things. Here's the other thing, and I know you're you know you're you're really young, and it's hard to kind of understand this sometimes for all of us, but when you go to college, you'll go to college and you'll be preparing for jobs that haven't even been invented yet. And that's, so you think, well, how do I get an education for that? And the important thing is to learn how to learn. And if you learn how to learn, no matter what changes in the world, then you'll be able to keep up with everything that, that goes on. So I have a little present for you. Well, Christmas. Thank you very much. Normal present. You can open it right now. Okay. So there is some bluebird chocolates. Oh. They are really good. And then there is, there's seven questions and East Side Her News pens in there. And then there's seven questions light box for you and your wife. Okay, awesome. Okay, and Emmy, I have something for you. Okay. We brought you some things from Ensign College. Okay. Thanks. The first is an Ensign College hat. I love hats. Thanks. Uh, good. I'm gonna put it on right okay. now. Awesome. Okay, then this is this is an Ensign College water bottle. I love water bottles too. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So nice one. Yeah. And let's see. Oh, for cold Idaho nights, we have a fuzzy blanket for you. And uh, a little notebook for you to take notes. Now, this is the coolest thing ever. This is a solar powered charger for your phone. It says Ensign College. That is cool. And uh, there's cables and everything there. And uh, there's some, some other cables that go with that. Some Ensign College mints because we know that every reporter needs to have good breath, right? Fresh breath. Yeah. And we have a couple of Ensign College keychains. I'm going to put it on my backpack. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new seven questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, Friday is supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.